Well, this weekend, of course, should have been Dillian White topping the bill here at the O2 on Saturday night. But unfortunately, that is not happening because Dillian has picked up a shoulder injury and had to withdraw. Dillian's with me. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Nice to see you, my friend. Looking well. So how is the shoulder? How are you feeling? It's all right. It hurts, you know, a bit stiff and stuff and whatever. But, um, you know, I'm doing rehab. I travel with my physio. I'm here for a few days, but travel with my physio so we can keep on top of it and keep managing it. These things just... Have to manage them, unfortunately. You know, in boxing, you get injuries. You know, we're big guys, a lot of power going through a small joint and stuff. And my camps is hard, a lot of sparring. That's why for like four weeks with four, four or five guys, two rounds in, two rounds out, so it's to keep the pressure. And that's why I'm able to push the pace in these fights and come on strong late in fights, you know. I know what you're like. Um, <laughs> you've had little injuries before going yeah. into fights and what have you, so you wouldn't be pulling out of a fight like this, unless yeah. it was serious? I, I fought Parker with a broken hand, a broken rib. I fought Josh with a, with a with, um, broken um, AC joint and stuff. But but every injuries take a different toll than you, so I'm saying, and sometimes you have to be smart, obviously. I just want to fight. I wanted to fight. I said to myself, I can just get some morphine injection and just go there and do my thing. But my, that's why I have a team, you know, my team there, they're smart, them, they're not, they, you know, they're smart, they use their um, initiative and they think of the bigger picture. Sometimes as a fight you get caught up in, I want to fight, I want to prove, I want to do this, I want to do that. And that's why I have the team I have, you know, because I have total trust and faith in them. So whatever they tell me, I know all this come from a pure place, not someone who suck up to me or need something from me. They, you know, they're my friends, you know, who will look up to who just told me, nope, yes, and that's it, you know, so, yeah. So a tough decision to make then? In the end, well, it is because you to carry on it is because even yeah. even even Monday I was thinking, hmm, interesting. I, I could just <laughs> go on a couple of runs and just go to the fight and just have a go. You know, because that's my mindset. I was, for me, fighting for me is easy. It's one of the few things that I know to do and do well. You know what I mean? So f fighting for me is easy, but you know, and the guys that like, no way. You know, a career is bigger than one fight. You know and Arthur William Dimitri, Salisha, they, they're nothing in the, in the bigger picture. It's just a unpicked cherry that I picked to bash up because he supposed, he gave Tyson Fury a decent fight. You know what I mean? Obviously, Fury underestimated him. I didn't underestimate him. I was coming there looking to knock out in the first six rounds. You know what I mean? I, it's usually my guy that prepare for, I think, yeah, the fight might go long, but this guy, I was thinking, I'll definitely come in to knock out this guy. You know what I mean? You know, I was in great shape. I'm still in great shape. So... You know, I was preparing, and that's also what could lead to work my shoulder injury because I was preparing so much. I was thinking, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna stomp this guy. I'm gonna, it's a good chance for me to knock out someone that everyone think is something special that I believe is nothing. You know, because you always love to keep busy and you yeah, always yeah. like hard fights. You've never been in a, a gimme fight. I, I, Certainly I picked not Wallen. Level, I picked you? him. You know, yeah. I had four or five opponents, easy fights. I picked Wallen. I said, you know what? And paper, it looks the hardest. Give the fans... I could have got away with fighting anybody, really, because of all the fights I've had and my career has been... I could have fought a journeyman <laughs> just to keep busy fight, but... That's I pick, you. Yeah, I picked Wallen because he... And paper, it looked the hardest. But to me, looking at it, it was the easiest fight, to be honest, you know? So, picked him and they're acting like I owe him something, I owe him the world. No, you, you got picked, you know what I mean? You're just a, a guy that we picked because... You went 12 rounds with Tyson Fury and cut him. Wow, that's such a, a great achievement, you know. <laughs> it, it's another sign for me from, from having known you for many, many years, yeah. how, how things have changed for you because you've mm. got to this level now. You're now showing that level of maturity yeah. where you are thinking bigger picture because yeah. there's a lot at stake here. Things could be opening up as far as the, the heavyweight yeah. scene yeah. is concerned. So yeah. you've got to be smart. Yeah, yeah. You know, for me, it's a funny one because... My heart and my head always told me two different things, you know, obviously. You know, um, my heart's always raging to, to strive and to go and beat these guys up and prove to myself and prove to people that I'm better than these guys. I can beat all these guys that you let say I can't beat. And then my head's telling me, listen, you need to overthink here. So it's always a, a battle that goes on in my head all the time, you know. So The silver lining, though, is that... Mm. We, here we are in this position now where we could be even closer than ever before to you finally getting that shot 
at the WBC title, which you've waited so long for? One well, hopes so. The WBC title is very important, but it's also the fight that in theory is very important because I've been mandated to fight him twice and he's refused. So the title is very important, but it's the fight. You know, I don't want to... Listen, if I have to fight someone else, I'll fight someone else. But I want to win the title. I want to fight Tyson Fury. They say he's the greatest of all time. With one fight, I can become the greatest of all time by beating Tyson Fury. I don't need to have another 20 or 30 fights, you know what I mean? Or five fights or whatever. One fight, you know, that's, that's what's important for me. The belt is very important, but the fight, fighting him for the belt is the, the cherry on top of the ice cream sundae, you know what I mean? Um, great would it be to fight with the, great, the greatest fight of all time, you know? For me, that's what, that's, all, that's, what, that's what it's about. That's what I'm in the game for. That would be a massive fight as well, wouldn't it? I mean, not, they're, they're talking, his, his, his team are talking about Tyson having to come back to the UK. It's time for him mm. to come back to the UK. Mm. Surely the biggest fight out there is two UK fighters together at somewhere like Wembley Stadium. That would be massive, wouldn't and it? And, you know, it, 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 it's a proper fight. It's a fight that it's not some unpicked guy. No, it's I've built my way up the rankings. I've come back from defeat. I've, I've positioned myself through hard work and dedication and a hell of a lot of work my team had to do, you know, which is not fair, but we're here and it's a major fight. What, you know, what other fight is he going to sell? It has a few struggles to sell tickets anyway. He needs someone to vibe with to sell tickets, so he can't come back and sell at no stadium fighting anyone else, unless it's, it's, it's me, uh, but uh, Joshua, Joshua's tired of producing, so, you know. And what did you make of his performance against Deontay Wilder in that, that third fight? It was a very good performance. Obviously, he showed balls, he got up, you know, knocked downs, but people say, oh, the enter Wilder showed this, the enter Wilder showed that. To me, it's just like, Wilder was acting like he was drunk from the first round. <laughs> the guy is crazy. You put 20 or 40 pounds or 30 pounds, whatever muscle on, all in your upper body, you know, he couldn't, after the second, he couldn't hold his hands up. That's why he got knocked out in the end, because when Fury came to him on the ropes, he went like that, he couldn't um, block the punches and he just come around and started knocking him out. It's like, it's crazy. I don't know who told him to put all this weight in his upper body and nothing on his legs. He's just, just <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. But from Tyson's perspective, did you see enough in there that made you think, yeah, I, I, I could be confident going into a fight with Tyson Fury? 100% because Wilder is a one-armed fighter. He just looks at his right hand. He doesn't know to jab. He doesn't know to work up and down. He doesn't throw punches up the middle. He doesn't use his range, you know. I can fight in close in uh, and long range. I can fight mid-range. And Fury's going to worry about a lot more from me than he has to do with Wilder because I can jab, I can attack the body, I can cut the middle. I can put combinations together. Wilder can't put combinations together. Even the knockdowns, is just launching right hand so far that cut Fury slipping, really. There's no real setup, you know. Even his jabbing, it was like... He was jabbing like he was kind of scared. He was jabbing way out of range and stuff. But, but you know, um, I come to fight, man, and I'll do whatever it takes. You know what I mean? I'm not going to, you know, I don't care who you think you are, who the people say you are or whatever. I don't care. Like, you can, I never listen to what people say. I don't care what people say. Uh, yeah, he's the greatest. He's this, he's that. Let's see. You know, let's see. You can't give someone the title of the greatest of all time when they're st Look, Muhammad Ali, he cleaned up. Joe Frazier cleaned up, Josh Foreman cleaned up. You know, all of these, Larry Holmes, they fought all the best fighters in their time. Tyson Fury haven't fought the best fighters in their time. They fought Klitschko, Wilder. Name me three more person, name me three more people on Tyson Fury's record. You're going to say Steve Cunningham, probably Joe Abel and Christian Hammer. You know, who, who are these guys? You know, none of those guys was ever top 10 rank apart from Klitschko and Wilder. So fingers crossed, you get your shoulders sorted out, you'll be yeah. back in training before too long and we can look to forward to that yeah, yeah. possibility. In the meantime, you've got a busy night here on Saturday night, haven't you? Yeah, I got, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm trying to give these um, young people a lot of opportunity. You know, I just signed um, a good female boxer. I think she'd be good for the female edition, um, Sagam. And then um, I got Thomas McCarthy, heavyweight from Ireland, who had just fought. Well, just signed, you know, um, I think it's a good addition for Irish boxing, a big guy, good looking guy, he speaks well, he's got heart. And then um, I got crazy savage fighting, I was looking to tempt people into cabbages. <laughs> 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 I keep saying to him, relax and get some rounds because the fight will come that you need to go the distance. And he's like, no, I don't care, I just want 
to destroy everything. You know, I got Yusuf Kamari. Very good fight he's got. I think that's one to watch out for. And then who else is there? Savage Yusuf. Craig Richards is on the bell. Yes, Craig Richards, a good friend of mine. He's helped me prepare for a lot of fights as well over the years. He's a good friend of mine. Craig is one of those guys where he's very he's been unfortunate a lot of the time. He's get a few hard fights that you think, you know what I mean? Um you think, well, you know, but but the guy's got heart, he can fight, he's a very good boxer, you know. I think the only thing that lets Craig down sometimes is the fact that he doesn't have that one punch power, which a lot of guys that is weight of your the Bivols, the Betaviev, and all these guys have got real Callum Johnson's guys got real power, but Craig's boxing skills is 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 on a very very high level, you know. So is that something that you're looking at to go big time when uh, eventually you, you hang up the gloves? Many many, many years from now, <laughs> hopefully, obviously, but uh, management and promotion and all that kind of stuff, you're you enjoying know what? that. Coming up, no one gave me an opportunity. You know, no one helped me or gave me an opportunity at the platform. But I'm a real guy and I stay real. And I still stay around the local gyms. I still keep an eye out. I still, and there's a lot of guys that's talented. A lot of guys is, is talented, but they just don't get the opportunities because people only care when you get to a certain level, you know. And I just try my best to help these people and give these people, change these people's life and stuff. You know, I mean, even. Babbage, when I signed Babbage, just top amateur, he had 100 amateur fights. People, you never think he's a dumb, I mean, amateur fighter because of the way he fights, you know what I mean? Beating a lot of guys, you know, he's fought a lot of guys. And then he come to my camp and we sparred and uh, I was speaking to him and he, I just see the guy was just kind of depressed and I was saying, what's up? And he's like, ah, oh, man, I d you know, I'm working the doors back home. I've had these fights, no one wants to fight me, no one wants to spar and stuff because it's very intense. So people avoid him, you know what I mean? Um, they send him home from camps and I said, no nah, man, I said, no, 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 you know, I'm going to try and, and help you out. And then one thing lead to another, you know, I got all these other young kids, some Miguel's, you know, obviously all these guys have helped out and stuff when I didn't need to. I could have just focused on my own career and done my own thing and put energy and time into myself. But, you know, it's been a, a strain, me and my team helping these guys. It's been difficult, but, you know, I'll try and give these guys all opportunity and stuff. And um, yeah, m m maybe um. I might go into it, I might just retire and say, you know what, I've had enough of the boxing because it's been too hard, you know, but let's see. Let's, let's hope that you uh, reap the rewards. Dillian, yes, best of luck with the shoulder. Uh, enjoy Saturday night. It's been great to see you. Thanks, Thanks very much Thank indeed. Uh, Dillian White, uh, hopefully back again in training and hopefully getting his opportunity in the not too distant future. Thank you.